to the Marley Bird YouTube channel brought to you by Red Heart Yarns. In this video, I will show you how to make the second part of the daffodil cotton scrubby. In video one, you learned how to make the three-dimensional portion of the daffodil, and now it's time to learn how to make the square. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and learn how to do that. Now that you made the top of the daffodil, let's take a look at the square. When we talk about the daffodil cotton scrubby, obviously there are two parts. There's the top portion and then there's this bottom portion. The bottom portion is made up very similar to how we made the top portion here at the beginning, but then we create these petals. And these petals, when you're all done, can go ahead and be tacked down to the finished square. I actually kind of like them up, that's why I left them there. Once you create this yellow portion, that's when you will switch colors to the jade and you will create the outside square portion. Now the outside square portion is relatively easy once you get past the first couple rows, which I'm going to call the setup rows, and it allows you to set up where the actual square bits are going to begin happening, okay? Once you create that, the following rounds, round six, is really super easy, and then the last round, round seven, is just just the white going all the way around as a trim. So it's pretty, pretty darn simple. So let's go ahead and jump in with the center portion first. So I'm going to do that. And with that, you are once again using the lemony color. So you're yellow. And we begin with a chain two, just like we did before. So as I said, we are going to make the petals really similarly to how we made the start of our daffodil. We begin by putting six single crochets into the second chain from hook, which we did before, so we know how to do that. So let me get through these. There's three. Notice I'm turning. So there's my six. I join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet, and I'm done. Now I move on to row two, or round two. I chain one, and I will put two single crochets into each single crochet around, just like we did before. So there's one, two, and a one. I will do this all the way around. At the end of my round, I go ahead and join with the slip stitch to the first single crochet, and I now have 12 single crochets. Now that we have our 12 single crochets, it's time to create our six petals. And you'll notice in the instructions, the instructions for the petals are all given in parentheses, which means the the um, stitches that are given in those parentheses will all be worked into one stitch. Okay, so here we go. You start off with a chain three, one, two, three. Then we will do two treble crochets into that same space. So I yarned over my hook twice, go into the stitch, and complete my first treble, go into the stitch, and complete my second treble. Now I chain three, and I will slip stitch into that same stitch to complete the petal. I then go ahead and single crochet in the next stitch over. To do the following petals, I need to begin with a slip stitch in the next stitch over, and then I repeat the petal. So I chain three, and do two treble crochets, chain three, and then slip stitch into that same stitch to create that finished petal. I will single crochet in the next stitch over, and then slip stitch in the next stitch over and continue on making a petal. I continue on with this until I get six petals, and then I finish off with a slip stitch to my joining stitch. Once you finish and you've joined with your slip stitch to the joining stitch, you will see that you have a total of six petals. You will then finish off your work by doing a chain one, Snip your yarn, always leave a nice long tail to make sure it's easy to weave in your ends. And you can see here that my six petals 
are complete. Now I need to build my corner pieces to this petal. So what I want to do here is I want to bring in a piece of paper and I want to draw out the stitches as we're going to create this petal. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Now the reason I've decided to do this on paper is because the first time I made this daffodil cotton scrubby, I had a really hard time figuring out how to do the uh, corner pieces. And it was seriously only because of my own um, arrogance. I assumed that I knew how the stitches were going to work and I kept doing it the way I assumed they were supposed to do rather than following the pattern and I kept coming up wrong. And so to make sure that you don't do the same mistake I did, I want to show you how to do this, okay? So we have this lovely petal and we have a, let's see here, we're going to leave our petal right here and let's just grab a black marker. And we have a single crochet between those two petals a single crochet between those two petals, a single crochet between those, right? So on and so forth. Let's just go around here and do this. So we have single crochets in between each of those petals. Now if we're trying to create a square, we want to create some chain stitches. Let's bring this over. We want to create chain stitches to create square points. Now that we know where our single crochets are placed on the petals as is, we can move on and create our wonderful square. But here's where I ran into trouble. As I look at this, I'm like, oh, this will be really easy. I'll just put um, chains there, chains here, chains here, chains here, right? And as I was reading the pattern, it tells me exactly where to create chains. But because I assumed that I was going to do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, in four different single crochets, I was coming up short and you can probably already assume why this is and it's because I only have six single crochets that's not divisible by four so what will happen here is we are going to create single crochet or a corner where there isn't a corner with a single crochet all right this is going to make sense here here we go let's let's read through the pattern and work through this together so I am on row four of the square okay so we have our lovely um, a piece right here with our petals and it says that keeps the, keep the petals in front of your work just like so we will in any of the single crochets we will join color C so let's pretend this is our color C and what we will do is we will do a chain one and then two single crochets in that same stitch so let's say we joined with color C right there and then we are going to put two single crochets into that stitch okay and we're going to assume we're working this direction once we do that, it says to go ahead and move along and we do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the next single crochet. So what will happen is after you've done those two single crochets, you'll move this petal out of the way and you'll come over here to this single crochet right here, okay, the one that's right here that we have represented and we will put a single crochet, we will chain two stitches and we will put a single crochet. All of that is going into right there. It'll go into this space right here. Then it says to go ahead and go to the next single crochet and do two single crochets. So we would move this petal, we'd come over here to this one, and we would do two single crochets, okay? And this is where I thought, oh, okay, great. I'm just gonna continue on doing this, right? And create my corners, not the case. You'll see that the next part says that we need to chain two. So before we move this last petal to get over here to this single crochet, we are going to chain two stitches. Then we'll put two single crochets into that single crochet, okay? So then we'll move this petal, we go to the next single crochet right here, and we will go back to our single, chain two, and our single. Then we move this petal and we will do two singles into that single crochet. And then before we join to our last bit there, we do two, sing uh, two chains. What we have done here is I put my petals down. We have now created our corners. Let me see how I can, can do this here. These here are now our corners. Can you see how that works out? So even though we only had six, single crochets to work into by doing these chain twos between the single crochets that we put into those two single crochets 
we've created our corners. Pretty cool, right? And then once we've established our corners, we now can go back and we will essentially just work stitches into the singles create our corner stitches and create a really cool square. Now remember when I said that I wanted you to use removable stitch markers, what I'm going to have you do is I will have you place a stitch marker into each one of those chain two spaces to really make it really noticeable where your corners are and it'll be a big clue to you to say okay this is where I need to create my corner stitch. It's really super duper helpful as you're working with the cotton scrubby and you have a hard time seeing where those chain stitches are. These stitch markers really come in handy okay. We have our game plan let's go ahead and put it into action. I'm going to scoot this out of the way so that way we can still follow along with it. Okay, and I'm going to have to use my petals here, all right? So we're going to bring our petals in here. I'm yeah. simply going to go into any stitch and yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through to join with my slip stitch, okay? So I've joined with my slip stitch, and now it's time to jump in. So we already know that we need to chain one. We now need to do two single crochets into that same single crochet. So I'm going to do one single crochet and two single crochet. Now I need to come over to the next single crochet and do a single chain two single. So I'm going to move this petal out of the way and jump all the way over here to this single crochet and do a single chain two and a single. Now this is where I want you to use your removable stitch marker and I want you to stick it into that chain two spot, okay? Because that is a square and we want to know where our square is, okay? Especially if you're using the scrubby yarn. We now will move on, we'll move the next petal out of the way, we're going over here to the next single crochet and we will do two single crochets into this one. So there's one and two. Now we're going to move this single crochet out of the way, but before we go over here to this one, we need to chain two. Chain two, right? And now we can come over here to this single crochet and do our two single crochets. So there's one and two. Now don't forget to take your marker and to put it into that chain two because that is a corner. Okay, so this is where I am. I just finished this part right there. We did those chain twos and we just finished that. So we're coming over here to the other side of our square. I go ahead and move this petal, come over here to this single crochet, and I will work my single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Go ahead and take my marker and I'm going to place it into that chain two space. Once again, it's just a big reminder of that's where my corner is. Then I go ahead, I move my petal. I come to the last single crochet here. I will put two single crochets into that one single crochet. Now I need to chain two. And once I do that chain two, I come over here to my last stitch here and I will slip stitch into the first single crochet I created. Don't forget to put that last marker into that chain two right there. All right, so I'm gonna set this down. Let's move this over here. And if I set this down, let's see if we can do this right. All of these, and these strings are kind of in the way, but I have markers. See my markers? There's my marker. There's my marker. <laughs> I have my markers all in my my corners just like I wanted and I am now ready to begin my square. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit. So let's move this out of the way. For row five, we will be placing increases into each single crochet around and we will be placing a double crochet, chain two double crochet at each corner. Now the increases are simply done by doing two double crochets into one stitch. Let me show you how to do row five. So for row five, we go ahead and chain three and that will count as a double crochet. And we will double crochet in the same stitch. So we're going to double crochet again into the same stitch. And now I will do two double crochets in the next two single crochets. So I put two into that one, 
I will put two into this one and I'll put two into the next one. All right, so it's over here. It's kind of hard to get into, let's see here. So there's one and two. All right. Now that I've worked those increases, I'm to my chain two space, which is my corner, and it's the one that I have marked. And you'll notice in the instructions that all of this is in parentheses, which means we're gonna do all of this within this chain two space. We will do a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. All right, I can go ahead, I can remove this marker, and I can go ahead and move it up to the next chain two, the one I just finished, all right, so that I can easily see, okay, that's my corner. Now I go ahead and I will put two double crochets into each single crochet all the way over to my next marker. So there's one, and two, I have one more right here, and three. Now I'm to my marker so I can go ahead and do my double crochet chain two, double crochet, slip my marker or undo my marker and put it up here into the chain two space just to keep the corner and it is really helpful as you're using the scrubby yarn. And then I go ahead and I do my two double crochets into each single crochet to my next marker as well. Now we know just by looking at our chart that we have three single crochets individually between each um, marked corner. So as long as you are getting a total of six double crochets worked between each corner, you are in a good spot. You are good to go. That's what we want. Okay, so there's that. And now I go ahead and I'm into the next corner. So it's a double, chain two, and a double. Remove my marker. Again, these markers are purely there just to help you out, especially as you're working with the scrubby yarn to know exactly where you are because it can be a little difficult to see um, with all of the little nubbies coming off of the yarn as well. So now I need to get my increases. And my increases, uh, if I've confused you at all, my increases are double, two double crochets into one. And there we go. I'm at my corner, so I'm doing my double, chain two, and my double. And I go ahead and I finish off by putting a slip stitch into the top of the chain three, because that counts as a double crochet. And I can go ahead and move my last marker here to make sure that it's in the right spot for my corner. Okay, so I've created a nice piece and you can see where it's starting to create the corners. Now that you've finished row five, row six is really easy. You have a total of eight double crochets between each chain two section, each chain two corner. What you will be doing is placing a double crochet into each double crochet and at the corner chain two spaces, you will put two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Really easy, and I know you can do this. I'm gonna work you through the first bit and then you can move along. Row six has you begin with the chain three and do a double crochet in the next six stitches. That puts you over here at your first corner chain two space. Your first corner chain two space will have you do two double crochets, a chain two, and two double crochets. So there's one, and two. You can move your marker up at this point to that chain two space and then you carry on just putting a double crochet into the top of each one of those double crochets. So it really is as simple as just putting double crochets in the next eight stitches. 
when you get to the end of this round, you finish off by doing that same corner right here into this chain two space of the two doubles, chain two, two doubles. You'll place your double crochet into that stitch right there. Join with a slip stitch right here and finish off the green. Then the last thing you'll do is round seven or row seven, which is adding your white and doing single crochets all the way around, but at each corner, you will just do three single crochets into that corner space. Really super easy. Let's take a look at what the finished piece looks like. As I bring in my little sample right here, you can see that the final round six is done really easy with just those double crochets and then our corner. And then round seven is done with that simple white with single crochets, making sure you have three single crochets into each corner so it lays flat. At this point, this is what your scrubby looks like. The petals are off of the fabric and the portion that you made first is just kind of by the side. What you could do here is you can stitch down your petals to the fabric if you wish. I actually like them up, so that's why I didn't stitch them down. But then you will take the daffodil portion, the three-dimensional portion, and you will sew it to this center bit. And it's really simple. I'm actually gonna take all three sections. No, you know what, I'm gonna divide this up. I'm gonna take the coral bit and I'm gonna put two of the tails of the coral through my tapestry needle and I'm gonna punch it right through the center square here. And once I pull it through, I know that that's the bit I wanna have it there. You see how that is all there? And so I can use this yellow one, I can thread that, actually let's, let's jump back here. Now that I have it at this point, I can turn this over and I can take the coral bits and separate them and each one individually weave them in, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I would weave them in to the fabric here. And as you're working with the scrubby yarn, you simply just go th through, go around, and then I actually like to create a slight knot, like a hitch knot. So when I get to this point, I actually bring my yarn through and create a hitch knot. And then I would do the same thing with this end. Once those ends are all woven in, I flip this back around and with the yellow that I have here, I can thread my needle and kind of grab the outside of my yellow here and weave it in along this bit just to make it a little bit more secure to my fabric. I don't feel like you need me to show you how to do that, um, but you know what? Let me do it anyways. So let's go ahead. I would thread this on and I simply would just grab a little bit of the flower and then coincide it with a bit of the square and pull through, okay? And I would just do that all the way around just to make it a little bit more secure. That is what I did to this little portion and so you can see it's nice and secure on there. It's really easy to grip just like this to wash things and it's really nice and uh, it's a good little scrubby. Now you know how to make the daffodil cotton scrubby and hopefully you'll run out and grab yourself some really cool scrubby cotton yarn by Red Heart. It is everything you love about scrubby but now it's in cotton. Hopefully you'll come back here for more videos to teach you how to be a better knitter and crocheter right here on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. I'm Marley Bird, proud spokesperson for Red Heart Yarns. Thanks!